So, I have a job interview. So I'm here at this place. <sighs> I'm gonna let you guys know how it goes. Never been the kind of person that's ever nervous. So I decided to come home and change before I go pick up little man. We're not even coming back home because he got invited to a little Halloween party. Home, change into something more comfy because that's what I do. And oh yeah, so yeah, your girl got hired on the spot. This is probably this is probably my third job getting hired on the spot. I don't know what it is. I think somebody was like, "How do you get how do you get jobs so fast?" And I'm like, "I don't know." And this one, she was like, she was like super excited. I mean, she seemed she was really nice. I liked her a lot. But um, she was like, "I'm so excited." She's like, "You are more than qualified." She's like, "You're overqualified to be here." But I mean, it was super nice. I liked her a lot. The place was nice, to be honest. Like, I was hired on the spot. But, um, there is, like, one thing I need to do before I actually start. And, to be honest, I don't know, you guys. Like, I don't want to seem ungrateful because I sat here and prayed, you know. But I'm not going to take a job where I feel like I'm not either going to like or I'm going to just, like, stress myself out. I don't know if I want to take it, honestly. And you guys, I knew, like, I told Drew last night. So my, my husband's name is Andrew, but I call him Drew. So I told Drew last night, I was like, man, I got that job. I know I got, and I know that probably sounds really cocky to some of y'all, but when you're confident in, in your set of skills and your set of, like, a specific job, you, uh, you already know. And I already knew I got that job. Like, the last couple jobs, like, regarding this type of field, I knew I got the job. I knew I just I because I believe in my ability. So I'm gonna lay down some tips for you guys because I know so a lot of people struggle with like first interviews and like trying to nail jobs. Like so I think what attracts interviewers to me is the fact that number one, I ask questions, a lot of questions. I also bring up like I do my research. I'm not going into a job interview blind, you know. I do my re my background research on the facility I'm applying to whether it's a corporation or like a mom and pop I do my background and I also make it known like my needs I'm also like oh, okay so what is it that you're looking you know when they're like who are you da, 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 da. and I'm very like I'm not gonna say I'm laid back like no like obviously there dep it depends on what type of environment you're in but I've been in very serious interviews and I've still been able to like articulate myself in a sense that like yes I'm serious but I'm also very like calm cool and collective you know in my last job I was like I don't do well with drama I don't like like I'm very I kind of like I put myself out there so they get the kind of personality that I like that I am or like how I want to be perceived so I think like doing your research helps asking questions um being very open very talkative but knowing when to shut up I'm here i'll be back the sun was playing me but i'll be back another time hey guys so i don't i don't remember where we left off i think i was talking about like job qualities i wish i could record an interview for you guys so you could see like how i am like i'm not nervous i downplay my nervousness like i said I get nervous, but once I'm there, I'm good. I don't know if it's because, like, I don't, I never want to sound like, oh, I'm so uppity, I'm so this, I'm so that. But I, I feel like I really am confident. And it took me a long time to get to this point, okay, guys? Don't just think, like, I was born, I came out of my mom's hoo-ha, and I'm like, no, it took a long time to get to this, Taylor. It took a lot of failure and heartbreak and a lot of, you know, like, wet pillowcases, to say the least to get to where I am, to be confident in who I am and what I bring to the table. And you know, it's a learning and it's a growing process and it takes a lot to get to this point. So don't beat yourself up if you are super nervous in interviews and you like stutter on your words, like you can't get your mind right and you start freaking out. You know, you your anxiety gets really bad at that point. Like don't beat yourself up because I'm telling you guys, like it's a learning process and the more you know like the more you grow the more you learn the more you start to do things better honestly you guys it just it really it just takes time it really takes time to get to know who you are like to learn who you are 
honestly take your time in discovering who you are and building up that confidence so that when you are approached by people or when you approach people you're not intimidated you know i remember i had learned this saying i don't know if i read it or i heard it somewhere and it was like it's not that the other person is intimidating it's that you're intimidated and so once i understood that it's not so much that person it's me and it's the way that i need to change my way of thinking and my perspective and not always think that that person is you know a bad person or out to get me or you know that they're this or they're that like it's not them it's me so once I started understanding that it depended on me depended on my attitude it depended on what I brought to the table what I offered to people that was when that's when I really started to build confidence in myself and when I really started to believe in myself and believe in my ability to know what I could do to believe in what I can do like I think I just said that uh super repetitive but I'm just trying to tell you guys like when I feel super passionate about a topic like I'm gonna go in and I do I feel super passionate about that I feel super passionate in people finding their strengths and people finding their confidence and um and believing in that and believing that you can do it okay so as a sociologist, I know that there are things that constrict you to what you can and cannot do. Your, you know, your family background, your socioeconomic status, um, your class, your race, your gender. Okay, like I know that all of these play into factor, but you guys have to look at how far we've come. Okay, we haven't come very far, but <laughs> we haven't come very far, but we have, you know, we've come some way. You know, there was once upon a time where women couldn't vote and women voted. And then there came a time where black women couldn't vote and then black women voted. You know, so we just have to trust the process. But you have to believe in yourself that you're going to get there eventually. That you're going to get to the point to where, not even just an interview, but just in general. Like, you nail, like, I know so many people, like, like I've talked about public speaking before. I know so many people that go up there and they're just like... I refuse to even answer a question because my public speaking is so bad. Like, my anxiety, my stage fright is so real. And I'm not. I got to a point to where I could speak in front of a stadium. And you can too. Like, I truly believe in my heart that, you know, if something is attainable, it can be attained, you know? And I don't want to say sit here and say, like, oh, like, the American dream, whatever. Like, if you work hard, you can you can achieve it if you believe you can achieve because i mean that's not the situation for everybody but hopefully i'll be able to like sit down with you guys and give you some real specific tips aside from <laughs> from all the gabbling i just did i don't even know that's a word gabbling gabbling gabble 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 no ramble i have no idea but hopefully i'll be able to like actually do a sit down with you guys so I'll put this up and then I'll do like an actual tips type of thing. I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that notification bell. I sound so excited, right? It makes you want to subscribe so bad, right? But seriously, you guys, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And those of you who have, we just thank you so much for your support already. A little update. I think we've been on YouTube. This month will be three months so we just thank you so much for watching and supporting us thus far we appreciate you so make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified and you're not just waiting i know like i have to apologize because these past couple weeks we have been off of our mark two and a half months of actually doing youtube and we failed you guys you have failed this city no but seriously we had some serious technical difficulties there was a video that I had edited three times and kept trying to save and it wouldn't save and then the last time I finally got it it reverted to its original video and it went down we got it down to the from like 45 minutes to 20 something and I was like I'm not doing this again I totally I said again I said if you want this video up you're gonna edit it because I'm so I'm so done I'm so over it and then we just had some like back-to-back -back parties like both of our little ones turned a year so we had we had a lot of things going on and i really apologize instead of taking you guys with us you know like we should have that's what happened so i apologize so yeah but
like I said, I apologize, but make sure you hit that notification bell so you're the first to be notified when we do upload and we will be strictly sticking to our schedule as we were until up until up a couple up until a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Don't talk in an interview like that because they're gonna be like, how is she gonna talk to people? She can't even talk to me right now, you know? <laughs> but um yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.